right, welcome back to New Breed Film Reviews. We are now on episode 36, and we are going to talk about the man, the legend, Mr. Denzel Washington. On this show, I got with, I got Dave with me, hey. and I got Polly. Hello. And uh, we're going to talk about a, a character or actor spotlight on this show. This is the first that we've done. Me and Dave have done a director before, but now uh, we're kind of talking. He's one of our, he's one of my top five, probably actors well top 10 actors sure. <laughs> and uh he's just amazing in every aspect i mean the oscars that he's won the awards that he's won he's he's definitely uh earned himself in hollywood and he's still have you announced just, his name yet or are you still building that up he dropped he said it Wait, oh you're you not okay. paying attention I'm you're paying not paying attention. attention i'm paying attention i just heard you say the man the myth i didn't I wasn't oh, sure if we, you actually said talking, his name. Are we talking about Ron podcast? Burgundy or Denzel, Denzel Washington? Yes. Oh. Side note, uh, coming up in a couple podcasts from now, we are yes. going to do a spotlight on Will Ferrell, and we're going to have a special, special guest, guest of Matt, Matt Thibodeau on there to uh, discuss it with us. For so, fans of our, we'll our short films. That's going to be on? Yes. That's cool. For a Will, a Will Ferrell episode. That's cool. He, he yeah. loves Will Ferrell? Yeah, that's his yeah. thing. He's going to do well with it. Nice. Maybe we could do uh, a do special like before the wedding night episode. We should. <laughs> so what do you guys think? I mean, uh, he's within my top ten actors. Where, where does he stand for you guys? Definitely within my top ten. Denzel Washington, dude, top five for me. I, I think I think I'm Denzel sorry. Washington is. I, it, dude, it's one of those things is undeniable. He's one of the greatest actors of all time. Like up there. That's true. Like up there, like he's in an argument of top three of all time. Like you can you can say that about him. For Call sure. me crazy. Wow, top three. So so you got De Niro up there. Yeah, and you got to have De Niro up there. We already there know with. how that debate ends. De Niro, not as of late, but I think you know, and it, it you could say the same thing for sports. Like you know, when Ali was like the greatest and he was in his prime, right. and then he started dropping fights. Does that take away from his peak? It doesn't. No. So, like, for me, Robert De Niro at his very, very best is the greatest actor of all time. But a close second is, like, Pacino. A close second is probably Denzel, Christopher Walken. You you could start throwing an Anthony Hopkins up there. Um, but to me, it's going to be De, uh, De Niro, Pacino, Denzel, Walken, Daniel Day-Lewis. These are DiCaprio. guys that... Where's he at? No, nah, dude, I don't think he's he's think, he's great. I think he poops all over all of them. No, <laughs> no, he poops dude, gold on that. Dude, DiCaprio <laughs> is a baby compared to these old. Yeah, he is. He's a he is. baby. He's working his way up there, though. Let's give him credit. Let's give him he credit. He is, dude. He's, he will get there. He it, will get there. If he keeps going the way he's going, he could take the throw. Yeah, but he can. He's still a baby. <laughs> So uh, what's your most memorable movie um, for Denzel? I mean, it's going to be hard to pick, but what's like your, your standout? Actually. Like if somebody says Denzel Washington, what's the first movie that pops Training Day. What about for you, Dave? It's going to be uh, probably probably Training Day. Training Day and Antoine yeah. Fisher. Yeah, I would say um, for me too, if somebody said it ends on Washington and I, they asked me to pick the first movie that came to my head, I mean, Alonzo Harris in Training yep. Day, mm-hmm. absolutely an amazing villain role. Just a, you know, like, I'm a wolf, Jake. I'm a wolf, you know? It just, <clears throat> so good. Put it my to, movie list. So put, perfect for that role. I put it like this. Uh, Scarface. Okay, De Niro is Jake LaMotta and Raging Bull. That is like a special performance. Al Pacino as Tony Montana, special. Uh, un, you cannot duplicate that special performance. Denzel as Alonzo Harris, that can never be duplicated. That is like Dude, once I, in a lifetime amazing role. That couldn't have been said any better. I agree with you. That, yeah. was, that was very, very well eloquently put, Dave. Mm-hmm. I have my moments. <laughs> but yeah, dude, Training so, Day is like... Whew, that's, um, that's one of my top 10 movies, Training Day. So it would make sense for him to be one of my top 10 actors. Mm-hmm. Um, so what do you, like Dave, you had said that, um, you actually, when you were looking through the movies, you wrote down what he got Oscars on. I'm kind of yeah. actually uh, curious to like what, what movies he actually got Oscars on to what ones he got nominated on. 
Well, uh, to be honest, when I was looking through like the list of his Oscars, like he he has yes. other accolades, but yeah. just as far as like Oscars, he was nominated um, for Best Actor for Flight, which is a fantastic movie. Um, he yes. won the Oscar for Best Actor in Training Day. <laughs> of course, that's well deserved. <laughs> that's a given. Um, he was nominated for Best Actor in The Hurricane. The movie based on the boxer Reuben Carter. I love that movie. I Very love good that movie. movie. Uh, he was nominated for Best Actor, which I think he should have won in Malcolm X. Um, and he was nominated for supporting role, an Oscar for that in Glory. So, but, oh, Glory is an awesome movie. That's yeah. like that's probably early, early in his career, right? That's <laughs> I've never seen like, it. Um, Mid eighties. It's about the, um, civil war. So in, in the civil war, they used to send the, yeah, they used to send like a black, um, all black, um, section to, to attack first mm-hmm. so that they would all get killed first. Yeah. So they were fighting the civil war, but the people that were on their side were still sending them up <clears throat> in front to get killed, but they, they took the hill and, and it's an amazing movie. Mm-hmm. He really is. He gets whipped in that, right? And so um, it's like I think, crying. uh, like there's like a scene yeah. where there's a the guy tear from coming Ferris, out his eye. The guy from Ferris Bueller is like I think one of the uh, uh Matthew Broderick. Uh, I think he's like one of the sergeants or something in there. Yeah, Matthew Broderick. Broderick. That's his yeah. name. <clears throat> it's good. Um, dude, if I could just drop like he has so many movies, but like some of my favorites are I, The Equalizer. Love that movie. Two Guns was fun with Mark Wahlberg. Flight was good. Safe house. Yeah, that was, was a fun great. movie. I I would I don't think it was that. I don't think it was like great though. Like I wouldn't own it. Two guns. Oh, two guns is a man. No, two guns. Yeah, yeah. It was it was like entertaining. Yeah. It was entertaining. Yeah. Um, Book of but Eli. But no, Flight was amazing. Book of Eli, amazing. Yep. Book of Eli. Polly, Polly, you still got to see that damn movie. I know. I still haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, every other movie we talk about on here. I haven't seen that one. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. Uh, out of time. Antoine Fisher's probably At like time is really good. Yeah, Antoine Fisher's probably one of my favorites of Denzel besides Trinity. John Q was good. Uh, the Hurricane was great. The Siege was great with Tony Shalhoub. Philadelphia with um, Tom Hanks. I'm surprised he didn't get nominated for that, but that's an amazing movie. Malcolm X uh, and Pelican Brief with Julia Roberts. Those are like my favorite Denzel flicks. You guys got any input on any of those? He did another Pelican movie, right? Pelican one two three. No, oh, um, they're taking a Pelham one two three. Yeah. Oh, right. Pelham. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't see Equalizer. I I really want to see it. <laughs> it's one of those kind of like uh, it just you know never got to me yet. Are you still on here, Dave? Yeah, I'm still you on. Just it. cut cut your audio. Yeah, cut video. Okay. Uh, cut your video. Um, all those ones, dude. Um, remember the Titans? Yeah. Which was an amazing movie as well. I, you know, he I think he plays that great. Uh, coach figure. Um, the Hurricane is probably right up there with like one of my favorite movies from him, besides obviously Training Day. Mm-hmm. Um, a cool one to watch is uh, Deja Vu. Have you guys ever seen that one? That was yes. good. Where he's got to like prevent the woman from getting murdered. That's what that hot shit. Yeah, it was a really cool concept. Yes, and uh, and Val Kilmer like super fat in there. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he's Dude, not much better now. Val Kilmer, <laughs> like talking about him, I just saw Willow. I got it on Blu-ray for like seven bucks. Love that movie. That's awesome. Yes, dude, I love Willow. Um, yep. Val Kilmer, it's a said the scariest things in the world. <clears throat> dude, practical effects. Them. I don't know what they call him in that movie. Yeah, practical yeah, effects. Those things scared the shit out of me as a kid. But speaking of Val Kilmer, dude, um, there's like big time rumors that he has throat cancer and like due to his religious wow. beliefs, he won't get traditional, you know, medical treatment and he's looking very frail and it's sad, dude. I, I really like Val Kilmer. I think he, Val Kilmer was the man, you know, it's just, just kind of sad. But anyway, um, so what, yeah, um, safe house was amazing. Like you said, Ryan Reynolds did a great job with it. Um, Man on Fire, dude. He played that twisted character where, like, he like. I didn't care for that he... movie, dude. No, 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 I didn't like. The movie is not one of my top, um, top like Denzel Washington performances. Mm-hmm. But he played a twisted mofo in that movie. Denzel dude, he did. Shoved those explosions up that guy's butt. Oh, and, oh. Yeah, and then he 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 tied the guy's uh, hands to his steering wheel and then cut off his fingers one by one. 
he played a messed up character in that one. Dude, I was so disappointed by that movie. And honestly, yeah, it wasn't like, his best. It wasn't no, his best. No. No, it was very uh it was very predictable too. Like yeah. the ending and everything. <clears throat> um, what else, Brian? What else you want to touch on with him? Um, I I don't know. I, I think um all around he like you had said, he is like up there with one of the top ones and, and he has like a like he's just has a swag to him. You know, like when like when we talked about some of the new actors, like on the last podcast that we did, uh, underrated actors and ones that you can actually sit there and you can watch. Like I could sit and watch Denzel Washington just have a conversation. You know, yeah. like he could just sit there and he could just talk on screen, no crazy cuts. He can just interact with somebody and he has my attention the entire time. Dude, we haven't even touched on one movie. It was very good too, American Gangster. That's what American. I have that's like the first one on my list of favorite. Well. Second one on my list of favorite movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he I just have. has like a, and he he can have that persona. He just, you know, he's got he's a New Yorker by heart, mm-hmm. you know. So he just kind of takes that with him. You know, he's got he's, charisma. He's got that like that. Yeah, he yeah. does. Yeah, <clears throat> dude, but, he's sixty years old. I know. Yeah, yeah, isn't that crazy? That blew my mind today when I was looking stuff yeah. up on him. I was just like, are you? I knew he was up there. Not? Yeah. But he, you know what, dude? He's getting older. You can see him. He's he's getting older in his films. You know, he's getting, you can yeah. see he's getting worn down. He still looks good for his age, though, you know? He does. Yeah. yeah, he does. But, um, dude, they showed a picture of him at the Mayweather-Pacquiao fight, and it's like an internet joke now. Like, he was looking kind of rough. Like, he's got... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, somebody, just whoever's <laughs> listening, Google Denzel Mayweather-Pacquiao fight, and it's like, about to do that it's right a now. bad picture. Like, I don't know what was going on with him that day, but, and they were, I was like, they were calling him Uncle Denzel. They were just ragging on him, man. But I'm like, you, you gonna make fun of Denzel like that? You can't do that. <laughs> Look at this guy, though. It's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Paul's looking it up. It's, it's pretty rough. Uncle, oh, Uncle Denzel. <laughs> look horrible, man. It's not good. Where's the swag? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's Mojo. He lost his wow. Mojo. Oh my god. Really, why would he have the handlebar yo, he, mustache? He looking like, like that. he looking like Fire Marshal Bill with a dark tan. <laughs> he does, he does. Hey, no, let's stop. Let's stop hating. All right, all right, all right. He's a man. This is the tribute he's to Benzo. This is a man, Not but a roast. still, we can still have fun. Everybody gets a bad that's just a bad picture of the man. He's no, getting old though. That's not he's just a old. bad picture. There are multiple bad pictures at this fight. Yeah. yeah. Well, tell me one person besides Hulk Hogan. That can pull off a handlebar mustache very well. Uh, Everyone from the 1800s. No uh, <laughs> I don't know. You got a point there. Bro. Exactly. Why did he do that to himself? Why? I don't That's know. a good question, man. I, I couldn't even I don't know. begin to fathom why. Anyways. Um, so what's your uh, what's your favorite movies, Polly? We mean they've been telling them. You guys, we've touched on, on all of them. We got American Gangster... Obviously, Training Day, Man on Fire, John Q, Remember the Titans, like, um, Deja Vu. Those were all the best movies. The earlier ones, like Pelican Brief and all that, I never really watched those. Um, Steven Seagal was in the Pelican Brief, though, wasn't he? Or maybe I'm uh, thinking something different. I don't remember. I, it was Julia Roberts and him. Oh, yeah. No, it's not Steven Seagal. I'm thinking of something completely different. Um. But yeah, I didn't really see a lot of the older movies, so it's mostly the newer stuff. But I still think he's, you know, top of the list for sure. Probably not my top three favorites, but that's not because of his acting skills. It's just I have actors I like more than him, like Leo. Mm-hmm. This is kind of cool. I was kind of just looking through um, stuff about him, and he had said that when he went on the set for Training Day. Um, his son had asked him, you know, is there any like darker movies that he had turned down? And he actually turned down to play Brad Pitt's role in seven. And he said it was too dark and evil and that he didn't want to do it. Wow. That's kind of crazy. What the? That would be a way different movie. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he would have been able to pull that off. You know how in the last episode I was saying Brad Pitt, I don't think he's that good. Well, he was fan freaking tastic in seven. And I think that. He was the only one who could really play that role. Mm-hmm. As much That's as I love true. Denzel, I, I think 
he could have played Morgan Freeman's part, maybe. Although back then, probably not. Um, no, he probably played Morgan Freeman's role now. Yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, it, it, the funny thing about Denzel, like, as talented as he is, I'm going to sound crazy here, but I don't think he's very versatile. Like, he kind of always plays the same role. Like, like you know what I mean? Like a very smooth customer. He doesn't yeah. play like... Um, like who who's a who's an actor out there who like okay Tom Hardy that's the definition of versatile that dude can play anything you know different different roles you know out of like his element he doesn't have an element Johnny Depp Johnny Depp you know what I mean Johnny Depp goes from serious oh, to goofy I don't character think there's anybody with more versatile yeah. versatility than Johnny Depp no but you do bring up a good point Dave can, can he, he plays yeah. kind of he does play the same kind of role, which he does excellent. Yeah. But yeah. You don't see, you never see him really step outside his box right. into like a really crazy role. Yeah. Like yeah. Christian Bale. Right. Christian Bale can jump anything. You're there everywhere. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Sean Penn. But like, does Sean not... Penn play like a gay guy. Can you ever picture Denzel playing like a Johnny Depp character or like something really no, out there? All. Jared Leto played like no. a cross dresser in Dallas Buyers Club. Like, you know, like, right. that's versatile. It it doesn't take away from his skills. He's like amazing at what he does, but he's very limited as far as like versatility. And that sounds crazy, but to me, that's how I really feel. No, it's true. Jared like, Leto um, good. Hmm. He's is, a good actor. Is he? I don't think I've seen any anything that he's done. Uh, Requiem for a Dream. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Uh, Dallas Buyers Club. Uh, yeah, he's, American he's, Psycho. He. <clears throat> Yeah, he played. He played. Um, what was his name? The, the D bag. <laughs> he's the dude that was in his living uh, room. The guy who he's says like, he's his name. Uh, he yeah. he's the guy that was in Christian Bell's living room. He's like, hey, why does he got paper all over the floor? Do you have like a chow or something? <laughs> and then yeah. uh, and then uh, yeah. Christian Bell just. I'm not even gonna ruin it for people who haven't seen American yeah. Psycho, but. No, but he's good. He, he's he's well, like back to the, kind of like Denzel. He's he's a character actor. You know, like he can be put into a role where he can kind of like change himself completely. Whereas Denzel, you give him a script and he can entertain you completely on the screen just by his swag and just yeah. by the way he delivers it. Not he wouldn't play a cross dresser mm-hmm. or he wouldn't play like um like you wouldn't ever see a Denzel as a Marvel character or a DC character. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just not in him to do it. Yeah. But that's that's his strong suit. His strong suit is playing like a, See, a crime caper or yeah. like a, a villain or like a, a, a good guy or a cop or something. You know, that's, mm-hmm. that's his strong suit, and he's kept that way. He's made and a career that way, building upon that. It's funny because I was thinking about the same thing as um, uh, Robert De Niro. <clears throat> and But when I was thinking about it, Robert De Niro actually played Frankenstein. And Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I wouldn't. I can never see Denzel doing that. Well, um, Taxi Driver too. You, you, I don't see Denzel yeah, playing a, a character like Taxi yeah, Driver. Yeah, but you know what? I see him playing that more than like Frankenstein because like Taxi Driver is more of like a reality-based, grounded character. You know, you know yeah. what I mean. But like um, right. to put on a full suit and act like a monster, like De Niro did that. You know. <laughs> um, <laughs> why are you cracking up, Bry? Because did he do a good job at that? I don't know. I haven't seen it. Dude, it was great. I'm I'm imagining that it, was though, a, in my that head. That was a and I'm not. I'm imagining that it would be dude, funny, like to watch. Oh, no, it was actually. Yeah, I can't. He did a good job. He really did. Trust me. Check it out. Um, what was another like? Okay, uh, De Niro played um this guy who um was in a coma for like many many years uh the movie's called awakenings it's with robin williams there's a lot of similarities between de niro and denzel's acting style but uh like you know when i when i really thought about it i think you know even de niro kind of went out of the out of his comfort zone and box but that's not taken away from from denzel at all man he's like one of the best at what he does so you guys got any other that's input true. on that and i think like I said, I, I I think he's smart and he, he's he's picked his entire career to to pick movies that have suited his strong suit. You know, the ability to to give him a good movie where he plays a good character, and that's that's the smartest thing he's done. Absolutely. What do you think, Paul? What do you think, Paulie? Oh, uh, you guys put me on. I uh, I have no opinion on the matter. 
All right, let me ask this. Do you guys do you guys agree with this? Um, we always talk about the movies that cannot possibly be labeled as bad. Would you think somebody smoking crack if they say Denzel's a bad actor? Yes. Like I would not like like we had said before. I, I immediately if somebody said Denzel was a bad actor, I would not trust their movie. Mm -hmm. Their movie recommendations I, ever again. This so is people who don't like Jurassic Park and people who don't like Denzel Washington. This is a true story. Correct. This is a true story, and I want I want to get you guys like your reaction out of this. Somebody at work said that they didn't care for Training Day. What? That it basically was an okay movie. I quote oh that. That's God. that's what they said. That's horrible. I, I, I was in shock. Like I was like. Are you serious? <laughs> like that I, blows my mind. Here's my here's my here's my rebuttal because I, I don't understand that. I, I I don't understand sitting and watching the movie and actually walking away thinking that. So my rebuttal to that would be, okay, what's your favorite movie? And I guarantee you, it'd be some random piece of shit movie. You know? Yeah, that's a good. Point. That wouldn't hold any weight. Dude, a refrigerator is cold. The sun is hot. Training day is effing amazing. It just it just is what it is. Like it's that's life. You know? You that's, summed that's it up good. right there. That's it. I that's like that. It. I'm gonna use that from now on. There's no <laughs> there is no denying. I don't care. You know how people are like, oh everybody's entitled to a different opinion. No, you're not. Training Day is the one of the greatest no. movies ever. That's it. Exactly. Exactly. Those and Alonzo are... Harris is one of my all time favorite movie villains too, so yeah. Can, uh, Which Alonzo Harris is Denzel Washington. Yeah, I have a question real have... quick, unrelated. Yes. What's up, Paul? Brian, is Dave moving on your screen or is he kind of frozen in place? I don't see either of you. Oh, I see you, but Dave's frozen in place. Hold on, I'm going to snap a picture so you guys can see this. It's kind of funny. Yeah, you guys are locked up too, but audio feed's coming in just fine. Yeah, as long as the audio is good. Yeah. You guys can hear us, right? The listeners. <laughs> That's the most important part. <laughs> yes, we can hear you. <laughs> I know. I was like, was he waiting for a response from them? Or, <clears throat> hey, somebody might have their headphones in right now and be nodding, nodding to the fact that I just asked them if they, if they knew who we were talking about. <laughs> like Dora the Explorer. And Denzel, says. Denzel, if you're listening to this, which Denzel, you're probably not going to ever listen to this. We think you look all right with the handlebar mustache. I, I think no. that you're okay with the. You can rock the handlebar mustache just like Hulk Hogan. No, you uh, can't. I, I don't. <laughs> no, you can't, but he, I'm sorry. He looks like But I, you know okay, You know how like in the first the the Nintendo Mario where like Mario and Luigi look look exactly the same but different colors? Well, Denzel yeah. for the Mayweather Pacquiao fight looked like a darker Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> Google Fire Marshal <laughs> Bill from a living color. There you go. It's uh don't tell me his name. Why can't I think? Of Jim Carrey right. played him, right? Yes. All right. So, what do you think, guys? That you think that's a good enough tribute for the the man, the myth, the legend, the handlebar? Yeah, I think so. I mean, there's only so much you can say about a single person. The legend. I think that's good. <laughs> All right. I, I like. Uh, I I think we covered him good. <laughs> that's, that's funny, dude. <laughs> Oh yeah, they were good. Oh, we uh, we <laughs> got them. We got them pretty good. Uh, we covered them well. Yeah. So Dave, uh, I can't. I can't pull the. I can't pull the card. But what kind of goodbye are we doing right now? Oh, we're doing the the Puerto Rican what goodbye. Kind of goodbye, are we doing the Puerto Rican goodbye? What's yeah, the Puerto exactly. Rican the Puerto Rican goodbye. goodbye. And it's okay because Dave's Puerto Rican. So I'm Puerto Rican, so stuff. I can say this. The, exactly. the Puerto Rican right. goodbye is this is what I grew up with. Bear with me. Your freaking family. It's saying bye to each other or to, like, friends. Okay, bye. Yeah, we'll see you. Oh, it was a great time. See you next time. Oh, but they that cake talking. was so good. That cake was good with the coffee. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, love. I love you. Okay. Okay, so next week. Okay. Oh, but what are we going to see? Oh, but Joey's not going to go. It's like it's like <laughs> a 30-minute goodbye. And it's like blah, 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 in Spanish, too, at times. Yeah, oh, man. It was messed up. But I'm sure there's a – I'm sure there's a <laughs> – So let's, there's let's, a, turn, let's not – Huh? I'm sure there's a Greek goodbye. I'm sure it's not exclusive to Puerto Ricans. Yeah. So let's not try to do that. Let's let's uh where are where are we at? How do people get in contact with us? Who who who's gonna drop that? You want me to drop it? On Twitter it is <laughs> at Newbridge Film. 
We're on Podomatic. We're on iTunes. New Breed Film Reviews 2014 at Gmail. We're also on we're also on Facebook. We're on Facebook. So you can hit us up there. Facebook. And uh, we do have a Stitcher. We do have a sister podcast called uh, Real Fiends, and Dave and Gil are on that one. And me and I've been on there once, and Pauly uh, still hasn't got on there, but he will. It's a strong it's, it's, uh, run. Raunch- raunchier it's a raunchier version of covering movie facts so if you guys um if you guys want to check that out you can um it's a different flavor than the one that we do here uh but if you want to kind of check out see what we're both doing um subscribe to that one as well super explicit content they go off topic into some fun little tangents yeah. but if you're sensitive it's a good show. So you can't Enjoy listen it. yes 18 or older only but it's all in fun it's all in fun yeah so yeah um like the guy said uh you know, uh, find us on your favorite uh, podcast directory. We're going to probably be on there. We're on TuneIn Radio. We're on Stitcher. We're, like, all over the place. So, Coming for the number one spot. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, guys. So We're, we're not playing chess here. I, I'm, hold on. I'm going to give you a quote. This is You just this, messed this it up, chess, dude. Jake. You just messed we're it up. We're not playing chess. I did. <laughs> I did. Do it for me. Drop, drop it for me, Dave. It ain't checkers. It's chess. You think he's my friend because I call him by his first name? When uh, he shot... Oh, okay, I'm not going to ruin it. <laughs> Somebody out there hasn't seen Training yeah. Day. That's the All game, right, we'll son. But you got the eye, Hoyt. You you got the magic eye. Are you you a wolf? Does other, are you going to be a wolf or are you going to be a sheep? Those other jokers in there, they don't got the eye, Hoyt. But you... This is the game, son, and I'm sorry. Yeah, classic. Yeah. All right, guys. It's, it's, not what, it's not what you can... It's not what happened, Jake. It's what you can prove. Paul, what you got? Good night, Good night gentlemen. <laughs> you don't have a quote? You don't have a Denzel quote? I'm not doing a quote. You don't have a Denzel quote? Ooh. I'm not doing a quote. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Good night. Later. Good night, guys. Later.